A crane collapse on the Tappan Zee Bridge. A towering boom falls, slamming across all seven lanes. The crane started to come down. It was very slow in the beginning, but then it just crashed right across the bridge. Amazingly, no cars were hit, but the bridge shuts down. Drivers are left stranded with a sprawling traffic nightmare. Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. The crane toppled to the ground around noon today. Here's a live look right now at the base of the crane sitting on the side of the new Tappan Zee Bridge under construction. Now, earlier today, some drivers had absolutely nowhere to go, some of them pulling out lawn chairs from the trunks and just sitting there on the bridge, stuck there. There is good news tonight at 6. Here's video of Mobile 2 driving in the northbound lanes of the Tappan Zee. This is just a few minutes ago. Governor Cuomo just announcing three northbound lanes have reopened. One southbound lane should be open by 7 tonight in an hour, and another one open at 8. But one will likely remain closed through the morning rush hour tomorrow. We have live team coverage of what happened today. Uh, we'll start with CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear. Brian. Uh, Dana, it has been a very difficult, very busy day here along the Hudson River at the Tappan Zee Bridge. You mentioned it. Traffic, believe it or not, is moving once again on those northbound lanes. We can see it here more than five hours after a large crane collapsed right onto the existing Tappan Zee Bridge. The video from Chopper 2 shows the crumpled red steel that came down across all four lanes of the Tappan Zee Bridge when the crane suddenly collapsed just before noon today. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. Like, how did that happen? Amazingly, no one was seriously injured, but some drivers were trapped in traffic on the span for four hours while emergency crews rushed in to try and clear away the crumpled steel. But we're told wind did not cause the collapse. Obviously, it's one of three issues, right? It's a it's a problem with the crane, it's a problem with the hammer, it's operator error. We did inspections on the bridge. There is surface damage to one lane, which is the southernmost lane on the bridge. Uh, and it is uh, what I would call significant damage. It's clearly visible, uh, it's several feet. And there is also uh, some structural damage to that lane underneath the bridge. Engineers have been out inspecting the bridge to make sure it is, in fact, safe, and they have determined it is certainly safe enough to open those northbound lanes right now. The southbound lanes will be reopened during the evening tonight, but that one extreme southern lane southbound from Rockland to Westchester will remain closed and it could take several days for that to be repaired and reopened. Reporting live in Terrytown, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Brian. You offer a unique uh, perspective to your reporting because your previous job was on this project as a spokesperson. Uh, what can you tell us about how this accident today of the collapse the impact on the bridge construction of the new Tappan Zee. Yeah, well, we talked to Tappan Zee constructors, management, and some of the engineers on the job. They did shut down all construction when this happened. That's what they do. Whenever there's any type of incident or accident, they shut down all construction, try and make sure everyone is safe. Uh, but they say they will have their night crew out there tonight. They are back to work, and they say this will have no effect on the overall construction schedule. They're still hoping to have it completely open in 2018. Okay, Brian Connie Bear, thank you for.